members, questions? Senator Murphy. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, thank you, Senator Weber. Uh, sometimes we disagree with one another, even though I don't like it, and today is one of those days. Uh, I don't support this proposal. Uh, and it really is about uh, my sacred belief in the will of the voters uh, and their choice in the last election. Uh, I don't talk about my own election loss very often, uh, but in 2018, I lost a hard fought primary. Uh, and when we were clear uh, that I had not prevailed in that election, I put my suit on, I went to a, a great big brewery in St. Paul that was filled with people who were excited about that election. I went up on the stage. I thanked the voters uh, for their participation and their support. I congratulated uh, the, the person who prevailed in that election, now Governor Walls. Uh, I asked everybody in that room to get behind uh, his candidacy. Uh, I stepped off the stage, uh, heartbroken, and I went back to work in the election because I believe that the will of the voters is that important. And a principle that I honor in this country is that there is a peaceful transfer of power in our elections, something that is being uh, litigated again uh, in this country in a way that I think is very, very threatening. Uh, there are efforts in other parts of the country right now to assert legislatures and legislators authority over the will of voters. It's taking different forms. It's happening in different places. In our legislature, in the Senate, in addition to this proposal, attacking the vote of the will of the voters in St. Paul is an outright effort to preempt that election. And one member of our body said on the record that the bill's intention was to nullify that election. I think that's wrong. And this is another attempt to do that while I understand and appreciate uh, all of what comes with the vote uh, that happened last November in St. Paul um, and the challenges that that presents and the work that is happening in the city with a 41 member group that is well represented by voters and developers and renters and homeowners. They are doing the work of figuring out how to implement this. That is important work. Um, but the election that happened last November and I appreciate Mr. Smith being honest with us that he participated in that election. Uh, and they did uh, spend a lot of money to try and defeat that ballot initiative. Uh, St. Paul voters took a vote and we shouldn't use the power of the purse here to undo that vote or any other measures. Um, because as they say, the voice of the people is the voice of God. And I believe that here. Um, St. Paul voters took a vote through the people in Minneapolis. Uh, they have an important job to do to figure out how to implement the will of the voters in that city. We shouldn't interrupt that. And this proposal does exactly that. Um, and I would respectfully ask you to lay it on the table um, because I don't believe that this body, and I don't believe that you are interested in upending the will of the voters. It's too important to our democracy. So I, I just wanna let you know, respectfully, Senator Weber, I don't agree with this proposal. And I don't think it should advance any further than this hearing today. Thank you. And thank you, Mr. Chair.